a sister FFM registration. Step 1, creating an enterprise portal account. Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS. Center for Consumer Information and Insurance Oversight. Agenda. Objectives. Summary of Steps. Demonstration of Process. Additional MLMS Resources. Help Desk Support. Objectives. Learn the required profile information for a new Enterprise Portal account. Learn the required format for an Enterprise Portal user ID. Learn the required criteria for a strong Enterprise Portal password. Summary of Steps 1. Select the new user registration link. 2. Review and accept the terms and conditions. 3. Enter all required profile information. 4. Select the next button to continue. 5. Create a unique user ID and password. 6. Select three challenge questions and provide answers. 7. Select the OK button to complete the procedure. The CMS Enterprise Portal is the entry point for CMS Assistor training. An account must be created to get started. The new user registration link is selected. Terms and conditions are presented for review prior to creating an account. The I agree to the terms and conditions checkbox is selected. The next button is only activated when the checkbox is selected. The next button is selected. Complete all of the fields to create your profile. Selecting certain fields will reveal additional information about that field and what characters are allowed. The first name and last name fields are required. Special characters are allowed, including the apostrophe, hyphen, and spaces. The email address must match in each field. Special characters are allowed, including the apostrophe, hyphen, period, and the at symbol. There must be at least one instance of a period and the at symbol. The assister is not required to complete the social security number field. The date of birth field is required. Your current or most recent home address and primary phone number are required. The next button is selected. Create a unique user ID. Requirements include, the ID must be between 6 and 74 characters in length. The characters must include at least one letter. It may not include your social security number or any nine consecutive numbers. Special characters are allowed, including the apostrophe, hyphen, underscore, period, and the at symbol followed by an alphanumeric character. Create a unique password. Your password will have to be updated periodically depending on the kind of account you have. Requirements include, the password must be between 8 and 20 characters in length. It must include at least one letter and one number. There must be at least one capital and one lowercase letter. It must be different from previous passwords and cannot include your user ID. Special characters that may not be used are the question mark, less than, greater than, open parens, close parens, apostrophe, quotation mark, left slash, right slash and ampersand. The challenge questions and answers are used to validate your identity if you need to make certain changes to your account. Answers may include special characters including the apostrophe, hyphen, and spaces. The next button is selected. Once an account is successfully created an email is sent to the associated address. Please wait 5 minutes before logging into the enterprise portal. The OK button is selected. Transaction completed. This is the end of the simulation. Additional MLMS resources. Assist registration and training topics include Step 1, creating an enterprise portal account. Step 2, requesting marketplace learning management system access. Step 3, accessing the marketplace learning management system. Step 4, enrolling in and completing the appropriate assister courses. Step 5, Printing your assister curriculum and federal certificates. These materials are found on the assister training materials page, https, marketplace.cms.gov slash technical-assistance-resources slash. 
training dash materials slash training dot html help desk support for help changing or resetting the cms enterprise portal password one visit the cms enterprise portal at portal.cms.gov two on the right hand side of the home page click the forgot password link under the cms secure portal pane three follow the on-screen instructions for further assistance with passwords and forgotten answers to security questions, please contact XOSC Tier 1 support at 1-855-267-1515 or cms underscore feps at cms.hhs.gov.